Okay, final question to both of you. Let's go, go with you, Christopher. Um, with, when it comes to cybersecurity, it is it's continuing. It's never going to go away. It's going to scale, scale just as night follows day. Um, what are you most excited about when it comes to the future? In general, I'm an optimist, by all means, <laughs> hopefully that comes across. Uh, so, so, you know, it's, it's, you know the, the bad news is the world is getting more connected, and, and so if I'm putting on my bad guy hat, and I can certainly do that, it means the opportunities are just enormous. But the good news is that all these things are sort of spewing off data, and I think the sort of things we can do, and I sort of hate to just say AI because that's mm -hmm. too simplistic, but it's true that with data here, we're going to be able to outsmart the bad guys, I think, by being able to sort of do an analytics and, and really figuring out sort of weaknesses as they go down. There's going to be great opportunities in that to turn it into a data game that, you know, it's going to make it hard for criminals to mm -hmm. sort of figuring things mm -hmm. out. I think that will work out to our advantage but it's probably another 10 years before we get there. So. Yes, uh, I agree with you. Johan? Yeah, look, I, I think maybe, and I, maybe I should just take a step back. The new evolution of technology, AI, agent e-commerce, so many different new experiences is generating so many wonderful opportunities for us as consumers, for economies, for you know, people around the world to benefit from these technologies and what they can do for you. Um, for me, the, the investment in cyber is really a way to secure that growth. How do we make sure that we optimize the growth that sits in the wonderful things that technology brings for us? Without making those hard, that, those hard investments in cyber, we cannot grasp that full opportunity. But what is, to Christopher's point, we live in a world where, I mean, the amount of data that gets generated, the evolution in technology, as a, as a technologist, I, I love this place. We have so many tools to our ability. And, and yes, it's going to be a hard race. We have to keep investing. You know, Mascot invested since 2018 more than about $10.7 billion in this business. And we will continue to do that. AI, data, systems yeah. to work this. We're at a point where I think we can identify devices, machines, agents to a wonderful place. Is it 100% secure? Not at all. But uh, I think we're up for an exciting journey ahead of us. And we've got the right tools. It's just a question, can we work together enough can we get the right technology and investments to the forefront to actually do that? Can we partner between private and public enterprises, uh, get the regulators on board? It's a complex business, but I'm, I'm like Christopher, I'm an optimist. I can see enough uh, you know, pr progress for us that we just need to continue to, to, uh, to, to work away at this. It's exciting, it really is. And I want to thank you both for having this conversation. You